see you again. You are indeed a shimmering beacon of beauty this evening, may I say? <laughs> Thank you very you much. You look very, very nice. Buried alive? Yes, buried alive. Yeah. Who would do that? <laughs> a very bad man, Craig. You wouldn't know anything about it. <laughs> I think you'd be surprised. <laughs> Oh, I would bury you alive. No, it's a horrific thing. It's about Poe, the film, and you know. Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And in his stories, he had a very horrific imagination, and he wrote, um, as we know, a Telltale Heart. Yes. And in that, he chops a man up and buries him alive. Yeah, yeah, but you can hear the. Boom, 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 Actually, he wouldn't be alive, but yeah, you can hear the heart exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was translated into the French by Baudelaire. I liked Baudelaire. That's you ever a read great Baudelaire? Fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's true. Mouth, yeah. Baudelaire was crazy, crazy alcoholic Frenchman. Just the type of writer I like. <laughs> Poe was a crazy alcoholic American. Yes, he was, that's true, yeah. They never met, though, I don't think. No, um, I think they were a little bit apart, wasn't Baudelaire the 1850s? Yes, probably would. Ugh. Maybe Poe was dead. <laughs> I feel such a fool now. Poe went to the White House drunk. Did he really? Yeah. He wasn't the first one. <laughs> You, you studied uh, literature at Oxford, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Did you study American literature? No. The course doesn't really have um, any French or American or foreign literature in it. So it's all just, things were terribly rummy and then something rather chipper happened. It's all... <laughs> the course is a bit too English. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Did you ever read any P.G. Woodhouse? I'm really into Woodhouse right now. Are you? I am. I don't know why. I've, I think it's Downton Abbey's got me onto it again. What do you owe oh, Downton Abbey? Yes, I, 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 I've been... Do you watch Downton Abbey? Um, do you watch Downton Abbey? Do you watch Downton Abbey? Do you identify with downstairs people in Downton Abbey who are servants or upstairs who are rather terribly posh? Uh, I don't watch it, but I've been both upstairs and downstairs. <laughs> Yes, I know. Fair. What do you mean it, well, it wasn't fair? You did exactly. You did oh, mean that. The mugging. No, it wasn't I fair. Didn't, I didn't mug. I, I just did that. <laughs> I've both, in fact, um, I've both done my laundry and dined at high table. But I hear that you have fifty quarters here. Oh yes, fifty, yes, 50 dollars in quarters, quarters, which would make it Oxford. 200 quarters. Okay, sorry. But what's fantastic about that is I do my laundry and I need quarters. You do your own laundry now? Do you go to the laundromat looking like that? That's what I mean. Because you could go to the laundromat dressed like that and someone, maybe me, would do your laundry for you. I'd be there. I'd be like, I'll do your laundry, miss. I don't go... I I'll, like... I'll fix your smalls. I'll get your particulars. I like it. Shameless. I I'll, like that I'll put a bit of fabric over. softener in for I like you. That. <laughs> this is a terrible stereotype. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> no. All right. Well, do you uh, you want to go for the big cash prize already? Like, you come out here, you plug your movie and straight yeah, to the cash want, prize? I just came for You the only money. came for the 50 bucks? I heard. Stopped giving singles and you'd started giving quarters and I asked to come back. <laughs> you know, most places would if you go into a 7 Eleven dressed like that, they'll make change for you. <laughs> yeah, you'd be make all right. Change. Were you buried alive in that clip? Would they actually bury you alive? Yeah, they did. They put me in the coffin and they had, you know, machines, I can't remember, drills. Oh yeah. And um, you know, they drilled around my head and put the lid on. And I took my first breath, because I prepared myself mentally for being buried alive. And then I took my first... How do you do that? Just say to yourself, I'm going to be buried alive. A okay, lot of okay. times. <laughs> and then eventually you become familiar with the idea and, and you sort of go through with it. Is it kind of a yoga thing? <laughs> I, I don't love yoga, but it is um, a mantra type thing. Okay, okay. Anyway, I took my first breath. Mm. And just to calm myself. And all the oxygen went out of the coffin. So when I went for my second breath, there wasn't any left. There was just carbon dioxide. Holy crackers. I know, that's what I did. And then I wept. And then they sort of opened the lid and they were like, what's wrong? And I was like, I can't breathe in here. And, um, and then I sipped the air. And then we did it again and they filmed it. So they, they weren't filming the first time? <laughs> 
like they just well, we'll just bury you alive a bit in practice. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's a complete waste of burying a live time. You want to film it just in case it goes wrong, you know. Then at least you have the take. Yes, then at least you have the take. Mm. You should speak to them. I should. Is it Cusack I have to talk to? <laughs> no, he's not the director. He's an actor. How does it work? I thought the actor did that. The, no, act the no? actor's in the movie, oh. and then there's a director, James McTeague, who makes McTeague. every... McTeague? <laughs> yeah, McTeague. My sworn enemy, McTeague. <laughs> he's an Australian. He's an Australian? <laughs> I knew that. Hey, we're out of time. Uh, yeah, look, I got distracted. Like, you wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, cash, cash prize? Let's do that. What time is it, Shadow Steven? It's time for the big cash prize. Cash prize, all right. Fifty dollars in American quarters. All you have to do is either answer a question or guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head, but I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. Uh, if you guess correctly, you win the fifty dollars. If you don't, you, uh, something awful will happen. Is the box in your head a coffin? Well, it, hold on. Why? Is that what you want? Box in the head? You want a box in your... No, I don't want you to box me in the head. I said, is that what you, Do you want the question or box in my head? Well, I just already did that. Is the box in your head a coffin? Well, you don't guess what the box in my head is. You guess what's in the box in my head. Me!